There are three hot issues in Congress this week, the Petraeus Report, Appropriations, and Anti-Terrorism. The Senate will consider the Transportation HUD spending bill this week. This bill spends $105 billion and is $3 billion over the President's request. Conservatives would like to see funding for earmarks and special projects cut so that federal money can be used to make room for targeted bridge maintenance. Congress needs to stop wasting the taxpayers' dollars to the tune of billions. In both chambers, General David Petraeus and Ambassador Ryan Crocker will testify before separate hearings. Congress needs to listen to the administration's report and make sure not to prejudge this important testimony. It's expected that this report will say that although progress has not been uniform across Iraq, the overall trajectory of progress has been encouraging as compared to the height of violence in late 2006 and early 2007. The global war on terror should not be a partisan issue. This week marks the sixth anniversary of September 11th. This administration should be commended for protecting the homeland for the past six years from domestic and foreign threats to the continental United States. More work needs to be done, and the Armed Pilots Program, also known as the Federal Flight Deck Officers Program, is an example of unfinished anti-terrorism business. The administration can fix the Armed Pilots Program by removing the mandate that they carry their firearms in a lockbox, negotiate agreements with other nations to allow American armed pilots to protect the cockpit from attack, and give the pilots badges to make them easily identifiable in crisis situations. That's this week in the Hill. I'll see you next week. For more information, log on to heritage.org. And stay tuned next week for more news from the Hill.